Cook, as well as your role with the first team as a first team coach, you've now been appointed head of youth development. A very exciting time for yourself and the club. Yeah, yeah, good for myself. Um, obviously, I've been here 18 months now, I've seen what's been going on. Um, the gaffer, myself, um, and obviously the rest of the first team staff are really trying to build um, sort of a bigger unity with all the youth section, all the youth sides, whether it's you know uh, in our grassroots part or the academy. So yeah, we're now looking at, um, as our academy would, long, long term player development plans, a process for our players to have a, a safe and, and measured um, pathway, obviously, to get to the first team. So what will your actual role be in that? What things will you be putting into place? So obviously, first of all, going around to, to all the sides, um, seeing what the, the players' needs are, what the coaches' needs are, um, putting, um, as we said, measurable plans together where we can assess, assess players through the development. So we'll have records with them uh, constantly, um, track, progression um, with every player. Um, we'll be working on things with the players, uh, sorry, with the coaches around their own development. Um, obviously some CPD internally, uh, what they need uh, and where we need to go. But yeah, quite, quite a lot more than that. But really the key is that we can start developing, monitoring and measuring our own players coming through our system. And it's all kind of about instilling and, and spreading that first team ethos in and around all different areas of the club? Yeah, I mean, look, it's the same as England. Um, you, you can go online, um, it's probably the easiest place to see on the FA website. Look at the England DNA. Um, people are a little bit unsure when it first came out five, six, seven years ago. You can see now that with their 17s, 19s, 20s, 21s, that once that ethos starts working, you can really build a framework for the first team, um, which is you know, hopefully going to be the case for the World Cup as well now. So, you know, obviously not on that scale, but our own version that suits Palace, suits our DNA, suits the type of player that we're trying to bring through. So, you know, uh, very similar thing. What does a number four look like in our under-13s compared to the first team? And can we, can we help and nurture that development through in their, in their uh, progression? And are uh, you looking forward to getting started on that? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be really good. I mean, the, the best thing is that you meet new people. That's that's the best thing about football. I've met most of the coaches, a few more to, to say hello to, um, find out they say what they need, get to meet the girls and the players, um, and really start to build them from, from now till to the start of next season. Well, Kurt, congratulations and best of luck in your new role. Brilliant. Thanks, gents.